Hey, how are you going? Claire Williamson here, Soul Goal Coach. And a little while ago in the group, I asked you what you wanted more of in terms of content. 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 You all said quantum expansion, which is part of why we're doing the breathwork challenge here in the group. And today on day seven, you've gone through an entire week. I want to share about how you can get more of what you want without working harder for it. And I want to start by sharing a bit of a story which was brought to me from some feedback from somebody off my list. She made some feedback that what I share in terms of how the personal story formula works. So the personal story formula is all about creating content that converts. But as I have evolved and expanded, I've brought more and more of, you know, my emotional biohacking work into it, more of the energy work into it to make you a super attractor. And she felt that... Um, those two things weren't in congruence, that what she was seeing from me in terms of my social media presence now wasn't congruent with what I teach in the formula. And she's absolutely right. And I actually made a post on my social media about this because so much has changed for me in the last six months. The personal story formula took me to six figures with only an hour on social media most days, sometimes pushed out to two hours. But that was it. Um, and I ended up, you know, with some incredible wins, 25K days from one single post, having an entire book of clients. And around about the middle of last year, I was hitting six figures, I was celebrating. And at the same time, my children were going through this awful spell of illness. They were really sick. The three of them, one by one, just went down with, there's this infection over mm -hmm. here. Hey, Joanne, how are you? Um, this infection over here called RSV. And the doctors were saying that most of the kids were coming down with it because of how we've been stuck in these lockdowns and these kids haven't been out getting the germs that they'd normally get and we've been doing all this sanitizing and all of this stuff and you know on the one side my business was just absolutely blowing up i was just you know ugh, my heart was alive with the success of it all but on the other side at home i was starting to struggle and i was starting to prioritize my business over myself because I was then trying to balance the business with these sick children and I wasn't making room for the things that I know are good for me, the things that I have built my coaching certification around because they put you into the energy of attraction, they attract your success to you. And it's lovely to see you too, Joanne. Um, I think it was sort of middle of July, my little girl actually got really sick. We were just setting off on holiday because I thought that would solve everything. I was like, well, go on a holiday, we'll have a rest, <laughs> create a life you don't need to take a vacation from. I was taking a fucking vacation, booked out with clients, you know, um, put them all on to a week's break, got in the car, and Bowie was poorly at this time, but I thought she would be okay, to be honest. I thought that the fresh air, a little bit of downtime, lots of vitamin C, some essential oils would be sweet. And we were driving along this country road and she'd gone really quiet. And I said to my little girl in the back, hey, can you just check in on Bowie, is she okay? And my little girl said, mommy, I don't think she is. And I swung the car to the side of the road and I looked at her and she was gray. And I pulled her up out of her car seat and she was lifeless. She had this fever that was running. I think it must have been close to, it was, it was 41 in the ambulance, 41.5 in the ambulance. And I couldn't rouse her. And I'm sat on the side of the road calling this ambulance. And the ambulance took such a long time to get to us because we were in the middle of nowhere. And they ended, taking, ended up taking her into hospital. And we spent um, the best part of a week there. And in those first couple of days, it was touch and go. They, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. It wasn't RSV. They reckoned she'd had RSV, it knocked her immune system, and it was something else. They were talking about doing a lumbar puncture on her to identify whether there was meningitis and something like that, you know, causing the symptoms that she had. And I sat there and I realized that if I lost her, then I would regret the time that I'd spent in the last few months on my business doing what I'd been doing, which was all this fo focus around the social media. It was like, it was like I realized I had this like 
break through that I wasn't stepping fully into myself. I was, you know, serving my existing clients around the per personal story formula. And at the same time, I was building this incredible certification around the quantum leap. And I was bringing people into my accelerator, which is all around, you know, how do you build your business and have success the easy way with ease, you can have it all and it can be easy. And it was like these two things were no longer in congruence. I was discovering more of myself, you know, remembering this person who I always used to be, who loves to travel, who loves to move, who loves music. I was a DJ when I was a teenager and I've discovered this breath work where I can bring the movement and the, you know, the, the, the music and everything together. And it's like, have you ever been in the situation where your two worlds just do not match? They don't match. And I realized something. I realized that I, again, had to change everything. I had to take another identity shift to step more deeply into who I truly was. And to do that, I needed to trust because I had this limiting program. I had this limiting belief that was clearly another one from the bottom of the pond muck. As you rise, as you, as you elevate, you pull them up, right? You pull these limiting stories up and you shift them. And the story that was coming up was that I had to hold on to this personal story because it was working, this personal story formula because it was working. You know, it was providing the income, which meant that I was, I was back in a scarcity mindset. And I had to trust that I could let it go, that I could step into my soul work even more deeply and attract success to me. I had to trust and to, to, to trust, I had to take that identity shift again. I had to work through that ripple effect of belief. I had to do the trauma work. I had to do the vision work, the visualization. I had to see clearly what I truly wanted and start to feel it. And I made a very intentional decision to pull back on clients and to hire a team. And that's what I've been doing in the last six months is building a sales team, building automations, building funnels, um, um, building, did I say sales team? I've got sales team, I've got an admin team, to take all of this stuff off my hands, not so that I could then work harder in my business, but so that I could do completely the opposite and just go deeper into myself. And what has happened in this process is the the remembering, the, you know, remembering, I guess, because this was happening already, but this whole chaos that happened towards the middle of the year when my business just exploded was that you don't have to hustle for these things, right? If you can be in the energy that you've already got it, if you can do that work on your belief systems, if you can change that ripple of effect of belief, if you can create your identity shift to live in the energy as if it's already happened, these things come to you. I can visualize something and within days, I have people reaching out, offering opportunities. I can feel into the client that I want to attract and she's in my inbox asking me for a call and it's all by choice and it's a healthy control instead of where I'd got to, which was taking it all on because I'd slipped back into that scarcity mindset, right? So what I wanted to teach you is that you can attract things to you and that is part of the breath work because it brings you into that supercharged intention every single day. It brings you into visualization of that statement of intent that you set. It brings you into the subconscious. It drops you like a stone deep into your subconscious mind when you go into that breath retention where the meta programming happens and you start to lay down those new empowering commands and let go of those old beliefs. And because your brain waves are slowed right down, that neuroplasticity is happening. You're literally rewiring the surface of your brain and you're making changes. It was in that journey of the last 12 months where I was doing the breath work along with all of these other integration activities that I truly remembered who I am and what I want to do and what I want next year to look like with events. Um, you know, I have, I'm launching in March a brand new physical event here in New Zealand where we're going to be traveling out, hopefully to the East Coast. I've just found a venue 
and we're going to be doing breath work, meditation, cold therapy, all in nature. My Birth Your Truth virtual rainforest immersion that's coming up at the end of this month. I want to do more of that. I want to get more into my soul work and make more of an impact. And the easiest way to do that is to attract those opportunities to me. The easiest way for you to get what you want is to attract those opportunities to you by changing your energy by f by doing the, the trauma release because at the heart of everything that is holding you back it is the traumas that you're aware of and the traumas that you're not aware of and the traumas that you're bringing forward from past lives even because they're on your genetic track they're there in your energy or they're stored in your body as memory and without awareness of them without stepping into the discomfort that brings them up i have clients where we're in four to usually it's four to six weeks and things get fucking uncomfortable and they start like goes two ways you know they either run away or they dig right in and i'm often getting to this place where i'm i'm you know calling the back in and saying this is where we actually want to be the fact that you are so uncomfortable right now is the best place you can possibly be because your breakthrough is coming those breakthroughs come in the discomfort i saw what i needed to see in the discomfort of that potential regret that if I'd have lost Bowie that day, I'd been spending time in my business doing the shit that does not light me up anymore. I have expanded. The universe is always expanded. You started from one teeny tiny little cell and expanded into the beautiful human that you are today. You are constantly expanding, but you're potentially not. If you're stuck in those limiting stories and you're stuck in those limiting beliefs, and you're not releasing them. And you're not doing the things every single day that brings awareness to them. And you're not taking that, that journey of the identity shift. There is a process. It is powerful. And I'm going to show it you tomorrow. I'm going to show you how to make that shift. How to bring your energy into alignment with the person you are becoming. How to attract more and more of the things in your life, in your vision, into your life with ease. How you can basically do what I've done in the last 12 months and that is realize and embody not becoming a sacrifice to success not getting into that place where you're you you know the personal story formula will explode your business to six figures it will if you stick to it it will if you go through the discomfort of connecting with yourself and sharing your story and you do the trauma work to get unapologetically visible and let go of those visibility wounds however when you get there when you get to that six figures whether you do that in a way that you prioritize yourself and you prioritize your energy and you prioritize your vitality is down to your belief systems it's down to your scarcity mindset versus your abundance mindset. And I think we all have to be honest with ourselves that because of the way life is, because of the way humans are, and because of the way the world has taught us, we do lean on that scarcity side. It's kept us alive to fear and be like, um, what's the word? Like, not open. It's like almost leaning on the side of caution. It's, it keeps us alive. Whereas to trust, to fully step into the belief that you can sit back, allow, receive, embody that feminine energy and things will come to you and it's safe. I don't think any of us are lucky enough to go through life and not have experiences that teach us otherwise. And we have to connect with those experiences and we have to let them go. So... I am going to be doing working this process through with you tomorrow. It's incredible. It's a free masterclass. Whether you're in the 22 day breathwork challenge or not, jump on. I'm going to put the link in the comments and I'm going to leave you by saying have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, Bowie is back for her first day in childcare today. So I have a little list of admin to go through while my admin is actually still on her Christmas break. <laughs> so I'm going to dig right in. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise I'll drop the Zoom link. Jump on, join me. It's going to be incredible. Okay, bye-bye.